crying. You should be celebrating. This is supposed to be a day of celebration. Why are you crying? What's going on? Talk to me, Jazz. Now I have eight to be celebrating. Not when I find out that the man who's supposed to love me has been cheating on me. Oh, I knew it. I knew it the whole time. My gut kept telling me something was off. Mika, Nehemiah's cheating on me with Brittany. What? Are you serious? you this jazz no one told me Mika someone left an envelope with pictures pictures of my boyfriend and my ex best friend in bed together in bed together Mika I mean I can't believe this is happening to me go ahead and say it Mika just say what's on your mind Mika because you know you want to say it just say I told you so jazz jazz I would look you know I have my reservation by Nehemiah, but I'm not, I'm not trying to make a point. Oh, baby sister, I'm so sorry this is happening to you. I knew you really, truly was in love with him. More than you ever know, Mika. I loved him more than life itself. I thought, I thought I really, truly found someone that was my equal. I mean, ever since Brian died, I thought I would never find love again. <laughs> I guess I played the fool, huh? God, I'm so stupid to think that I would ever find a real true man. He's lied to me, Mika, over and over again, all this time. He was with, he was with her. Ugh, and the thought of them, the thought of them being together just make me, just make me sick to my stomach. I'm literally sick to my stomach, Mika. God. Nehemiah, God, he has no shame. And then Brittany, the fact that she showed up to court with those pictures. Man, I have really lost respect for her. What? Brittany was the one that brought those pictures to the, to the courthouse? She was here? And you didn't say a word, Mika? Why didn't you didn't tell me? I don't believe this. Look, Jazz, I have no idea what Brittany had in that envelope. Besides, she came in here acting all condescending and rude, and she acted like she didn't want to give it to you personally. So, Gypsy took it. Like, I had no idea that she had pictures of her and Nehemiah in bed together, and I'm sure Monica and Gypsy didn't either. There she is, girl, we've been looking all for you. Girl, what's going on? What's wrong? You know what? Everything's going to be just fine once I take care of the situation. Matter of fact, I'm doing it right now. I'm ending this right now. Jack, Jazz, come back. What the hell is going on, Mika? What's going on? What's going on with Jazz? You remember that envelope that Brittany gave to you to give to Jazz? Yeah, I didn't even give it to her. I must have left in the bathroom. Well, what was in the envelope, Mika? Pictures of Brittany in bed with Nehemiah. I'm home. Jess, are you home, baby? Where are you at? <gasps> so, is there anything you need to tell me? Man. Poor Jess. You you think she's gonna You think she's gonna confront Nehemiah? I mean, personally, I would. Hell! Hell! And Brittany! Oh my god, I have lost so much respect for that girl. Yeah, tell me about it. Man, Brittany, ever since that accident, she just flipped. I mean, the old Brittany would have never done that to Jazz. Ever. And then she sleeps with not one, but 
two of Jazz's boyfriends. First Brian, now Nehemiah. God. Man, Jackie, you were right about your suspicion about Nehemiah. I mean, you hit it right on the nose. I mean, I can't believe him. What the hell was he thinking? What? Jackie, you knew about this? And you didn't say nothing to me? Girl, all I knew that Nehemiah was acting funny. I know he was cheating on Jazz, but I did tell Monica that he was acting really strange, like he was acting guilty. You know, I just I just had a bad vibe about that boy. Tell me about it. But you know what? We should really be surprised. Really shouldn't be surprised at all. I mean, look at his track record. First he cheated on Brittany with Tiffany, and now he's cheating on Jazz with Brittany. You know what they always say, a leper never changes its spots. Man, I just thought when he was with Jazz, he seemed to be, you know, caring and, and, and wonderful towards her. I thought maybe she'd be the one that would change his wicked little ways. <laughs> Apparently not. And I try to give him the benefit of the doubt. Well, you know what? He lost his trust with me. And, you know what? I'm not even wasting time on him. My focus is on my baby sister. I gotta get back to the courtroom and see if Mama finished the paperwork. Besides, I gotta let her know what's going on with Jazz. I'll see you guys later, alright? Later, Mika. Yo, I think we better get back to the house. You know, be there for Jazz. She's gonna need her friends more than ever. Yeah, come on guys, let's go. Hey mama, are you ready? Mm, sure am. I just gotta turn these papers into uh, the courtroom F, and then I can go and pick up Kimmy from day camp, and just start the rest of our lives in peace. Uh, where's Jazz? Um, mom, there's some stuff going on with Jazz. Um, why don't I tell you about it later, alright? Uh, okay. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. Congratulations! Well, I'm waiting. Look, Jess, please, let me explain. Don't you dare come near me! Because anything that is coming out of your mouth has been complete BS! So I don't want to hear Nehemiah! Please, Jazz, I never meant to hurt you. This, I never planned this. I, I've been wanting to tell you for a long time about what's been going on because I felt guilty. I love you more than life itself, and and I'm a complete fool for what I did. I can't, I can't justify what I did. There's no excuse, Jazz. I did what I did, and I, and I'm gonna pay for it. For the rest of my life. Please, Jazz. You have to give me a second chance. Please give me a second chance to prove that I love you. And only you. Why? Why should I give you another chance? So you can, so you can make a fool of me again? Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. There won't be a third. I'm not going to let you make a fool out of me anymore, Nehemiah. Not anymore. I would have given everything to you, Nehemiah. My heart, my body, my soul, my love. But you obviously wouldn't give yours to me. You obviously do not love me. You obviously do not care for me. And you obviously do not value me as a human being. Jazz, that's not true. I love you more than life itself. You have to believe that. I agonize about what I did with Brittany. I agonize it every day. All I think about is you, and only you. Your agonizing doesn't mean squat to me. But I do tell you this, Nehemiah. How about you agonize over losing me, Nehemiah? Because that's what you've done. You lost me. I don't ever, ever want to see you again. I want you out of my life. I don't ever want to see you, think about you for the rest of my life. Jazz. Baby, you don't mean that, please. Come on. Come on, we can work we can work this out. Jazz, don't do this. Nehemiah, I want to 
want you to read my lips for the last time. It's over. I want you out of my house. Don't bother unpacking because your stuff is out of storage. Get out! And take your nasty pictures with you! Are you okay, Jazz? <laughs> I will be now! <laughs> uh, here he comes now. Hello? Oh, lover. Why you sound so depressed? Oh, let me guess. I take it Jazz got her little, uh, present. So, when should I expect you to come home? How about never? You done enough, Brittany. Because of you, now my relationship with Jazz is over. And I'm never going to find a great girl like her again. So you know what? You can go to hell. Because I don't ever want to see you again. Ever. You got that? Now, now is that how you talk to the mother of your soon-to-be child? Come on, Nehemiah. Tisk tisk. You wouldn't want me to get mad. I don't give a crap if you're going to be mad. The mother of my future child? What the hell are you talking about? What? Brittany, what are you saying? Exactly what I just said. I'm about to have your baby. So you're going to see a lot of me, Nehemiah. And you better get used to it. If you know what's good for you. I know that was tough, Jazz. But you had to do what you had to do. And what's best for you is to cut clean from Nehemiah. He was just, he was no good for you. I know, but now I don't know what I'm going to do. You move on, and you don't need him. You can do bad all by yourself. No, you guys, you don't understand. I just found out. I just found out that I'm pregnant. 